How about this for a geek credit? Rise of Skywalker, opening night. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. I'm AKA Pad, Peter A. DeLuca, another known as the Pop Culture Pope, also the Eclectic One. But anyway, hey, 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 I just wanted to hang out real quick. Got some things on my mind. Everyone is freaking out still about Rise of Skywalker. None of the Twitter stuff has calmed down. None of the YouTubers have calmed down. I'm a YouTuber. I'm not calming down. So, my last video, I kind of addressed this idea of Star Wars Special Editions for the new trilogy, Episode 7, 8, 9. I'm also an advocate of continuing the story of Rey, just so uh, we can have more explained. That's all they gotta do. The more they explain about Rey, the better episodes 7, 8, and 9 are going to be. Now, we all know I don't like Last Jedi, I don't like Rise of Skywalker. I give The Last Jedi a ton of credit because that movie had guts, that movie had some cahoots. It, uh, it took a direction. Now, I fought, I 100% fought Rise of Skywalker, I fought Kathleen Kennedy, I fought Bob Iger, I fought Jar Jar Abrams, I fought all of these people because one simple reason, they didn't back their guy, okay? You have to back your guy. That is your horse and that's the horse that's going to take you to the finish line. They completely, completely ignored everything from Last Jedi going into Rise of Skywalker, where I think from a storytelling standpoint, from a narrative standpoint, it probably would have been better if they continued the Last Jedi into Rise of Skywalker instead of retconning everything, instead of retconning everything and just wasting everyone's time. Hope we don't play that. I very much dislike it. But the special editions was originally what fractured the Star Wars core, the core audience, the base, the kids, the adults that grew up with the original trilogy, episodes four, five, and six. And the special editions, someone shot first, someone shot second. We have someone yelling when they fall down the pit. We have a we, no Ewok song. That's what I'm upset about. No Ewok song. And, you know, that's where we started to see these, uh, this attachment to Star Wars. This, uh, don't mess with it attitude. Look, we're so far past that point. Who really cares? Let's just do special editions, all of it, one through nine. Add everything you have to, to make it more cohesive, to make it more connecting, to make it better, to make, to get that little membrane between the muscles going, okay? I'm a huge advocate for anything with the special editions because it gives you a reason to watch the movie again. It gives you a reason to pay attention. It gives you a reason to re-experience the Star Wars movies. Look, I don't care, it's a product. Do I know if they slowly change the recipe for Oreos throughout the years, or if they use a different type of sugar, or this and that, or Pepsi slowly evolves its taste because of, who knows, all kinds of good reasons. I don't care, I still drink Pepsi, I still eat Oreos, I'm still going to watch Star Wars. All right, everyone, I'm signing off here. Quick video today. Let me know what you think. Should Disney Lucasfilm should Disney Star Wars make Special Edition Episode 7 Force Awakens, Special Edition Episode 8 Last Jedi, Special Edition Episode 9 Rise of Skywalker. I'm all for it. Would I see them in the theater? No. Would I subscribe to Disney Plus to watch them? Probably. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Let's rock and roll.